Welcome to another episode of The Sims 4. In this episode, we are going to focus on the royal family of Willow Creek. Um, and I just want to say thank you for those of you who have been giving us suggestions because I definitely think they're great and I love hearing them and I'm taking them into consideration, which is what we're doing in this episode. So, um, we already know a lot about Princess Alice because she is involved with Prince Henry of Windenburg. We don't know too much about the King and Queen of Willow Creek, and as you can see, they really aren't getting along at all. And King Derek has actually taken a mistress in Oasis Springs. She is actually the Duchess of Oasis Springs. Um, she's a widow. So we're going to look into that a little bit more today. Um, the King and Queen haven't been getting along very well. They just haven't been agreeing on a lot with their careers, um, with the kingdom, and with um, parenting uh, with uh, with bleh, with raising their children um, so they're trying to figure out what is best and they just clearly have not been doing well so as you can see they are both super super irritated with each other uh, Queen Elena is just beyond pissed so she is stomping out of there she is done with King Derek and all all he has to say so for this episode, we're just going to kind of focus on that a little more. Look how angry she is, though. Like, she's just stand- Oh, whoops. Gotta fix this camera. She is just- Oh, now she's gone. Alright, never mind. Too late. Um, looks like she's going to stomp in the trash. I'm actually going to have the prince pick that up so we can have a little bit more responsibility. Um, just a little bit more updates, but- Looks like Prince Edmund, he is the heir to the throne. He has grown into a child. So I believe the last time that we saw him, he was a toddler. So now he's a child. Um, let's see. He is... What is he? Uh, his character values, he already has a really great manners for a child. Because he usually doesn't go up that easily for them. Um, he's a cat lover. That's really all it says. So maybe we need to give them a cat. Um, his aspiration is to be an artistic prodigy, so maybe we should work on his artistic skills as well. So, Prince Edmund is just going to take out- oh, nope, he's stomping on the trash, that is not what you're supposed to do. Did I say play in? I must have said play in. Um, we're gonna throw away both of those. Um, Princess Alice, she's just doing her thing. She is, um, she's, like, gonna be an adult pretty, pretty soon. Um, she's- supposed to be the next queen of Windenburg so as soon as she turns into an adult um, they are set to have their wedding um, her and Prince Henry so she knows that her parents are having problems but she's just such a sweet sweet girl all she wants to do is help um, she's definitely got a lot of suitors but for her Prince Henry is the only one that she wants to be with they've been together since they were children so that's kind of the deal with Princess Alice. Um, so King Derek, I think we need to meet his mistress. So it is 3 a.m., definitely time for Prince Derek, or sorry, King Derek to sneak out of the house, um, even though his family's awake. But we're going to sneak over and meet his mistress. She is in Oasis Springs. Um, so as I said, the Duke of Oasis Springs actually passed away. Um, a little bit of time ago, so it's just her and her son, who's the next in line to be the Duke. This is Sir Adrian, he's a teenager, so he's not quite old enough to take the title yet, but um, until then, uh, it is Duchess Stella who is the Duchess and running this household. So we're going to travel and go see her. So here we are at Sultry Springside, that's a very fitting name for our situation right now. So, King Derek is going to knock on the door. Um, it's a pretty decent sized uh, house. It's definitely got the Oasis Spring theme going on with it. Um, so, it's, it's pretty cute. And you can see the inside. It doesn't really have windows. Um, it just kind of has the archway so you can see inside already. Um, so, he kind of already knows Sir Adrian. Um, he is next in line to be the Duke of Oasis Springs. He obviously wants to have a good relationship with him since... He's seen his mother. So Sir Adrian kind of suspects that something is going on, especially since the king of Willow Creek is over at his house this late. Um, they usually just tell him that it is uh, work-related and that there is nothing to worry about. So we're going to find Duchess Stella. I don't 
see her. Oh, there she is. Okay. So this, so why don't we just zoom in so you guys can see her. Um, oh, there we go. So this is Duchess Stella. She is gorgeous. Um, she is the Duchess of Oasis Springs. Um, I will try to see on the family tree, like, kind of what the relationship is with her, because I think she's more related to the Windenburg side of the family, not the Willow Creek side. So they met because they were, um, they are both part of the political career. So they ran into each other and he found out about her husband, the Duke, passed away and he was consoling her and they just kind of hit it off really well and he was already having issues with Queen Elena. So they've kind of already got a romantic relationship going. Um, they've kissed already. They have not slept together though. Um, but we'll kind of see what happens. So he came over because he wants to, <laughs> I forgot he has a painting of himself. Um, I don't want to give that to her because that is supposed to go in their palace. Um, I, you know how I do the portraits for Windenburg? Well, I did them with Willow Creek and Princess Alice painted them. So we're just going to have him go talk to Duchess Stella. She's already feeling very flirty. Um, as you can see, they've already got a relationship going. Um, they're, they have like a little bit of a friendship. They just haven't known each other for very long. So it's most, mostly just a physical relationship. So he's going to compliment her appearance. Um, and why don't we give her a kiss as well? So there, yeah, I'm just going to kiss. Um, when we have... When, I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see how this goes. I'm kind of thinking they're going to end up having a baby if they decide to woohoo. Um, we will see. So I know that happens a lot in the royal families back then. Um, there were a lot of illegitimate children, um, and we have not covered that yet for any of the other royal families. So I think that we're going to start having that for this royal family. Um, I did have that a lot at the royal family of Windenburg. Um, their earlier ancestors, there were a lot of illegitimate children. If I go through the family tree and break it down, I can show you um, how that worked. But yeah, until then, so it looks like they're already getting along and talking. Um, they, seriously, they hit it off right away for... Those of you who watched the last episode with Prince Jared, um, I had to get him to flirt with, oh shoot, was it Lady, I think it was Lady Lindsay. Um, he had to flirt with her like so much and he kept getting rejected. So obviously they are getting along really well. Um, I think we're going to see, why don't we try for a baby and see what happens. So it is just... Uh, Duchess Stella and her son in this house so she is kind of lonely she does have her son um, but sh her she was really sad about her husband passing away and the fact that King Derek was there for her it just made her fall for him even more so don't know yet if they actually are in love or not I think it definitely is just a physical relationship um, I don't think King Derek is looking to be with anyone else um, than his wife because divorce is not really an option for them. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Um, so they're doing that. Let me see if I can check out the family tree as well. I'm just kind of curious to see how she's related to him because um, they've got to be related somehow. Let me see. I don't know if I can. It's really hard to tell. Let's see, Emily Willow. Um, but she is from, oh no, she was from the Windenburg side. Yeah, so she, he's really not related to the Oasis Spring side at all. Um, I think one of his ancestors maybe, but yeah, not, not so much. So they're doing their thing. Let's see, what is Sir Adrian doing? Oh, there he is. He is just talking to himself in a corner? What is this? It is... That's the trash can? I don't think I've seen a trash can like that yet. That must be new. No, this can't be new because this house is not new. Interesting. Okay. So, King Derek. Ooh, King Derek's supposed to go to work. We'll, we'll have him. Why don't we just take, take, take them off? Okay. So, 
So Prince Edmund went to school. King Derek is sleeping. Oh, and her son is in the next room. He's got no idea what happened. He did not see them at all. He just thinks they're working. So they're trying to keep it down. Um, so King Derek, oh yeah, their romantic relationship is going up a lot. So it is 7 a.m. on a Friday. She's probably got to go to work soon too. Um, but yeah, Duchess Stella. Ooh, there we go. Honestly, they're really cute together. For some reason, people don't like Queen Elena. Like, I was looking on, I think, Queen Isabel's or Queen Arya's um, friendships, and one of them doesn't like her, and then there's a bunch of other people that don't really like her either. So I don't know what it is, um, but King Derek, I think, is realizing that, and then he is also just having trouble with it. Um, I don't know if I want him to ask to be the girlfriend yet because we don't want it to be public um so I think he's very careful King Derek I think he knows that he can't get caught so I don't think he's going to officially ask to be um in a relationship with her but we're just gonna have them try for a baby again they are I'm sure very likely to have an illegitimate child um if they were to have an Ill illegitimate child it would not be the duke if it was a boy it would not be the duke of this household because her son's going to be the duke um usually the illegitimate children of royals back then would be named a duke or something along those lines um so we'll just do like a little movie clip from woohooing um so we would i don't know maybe i'll try to see if i can find some sort of title for him i think that if Queen Elena found out about him, and she would be worried about her son um, being thrown over for being the king, but technically her son is next in line to be the king, so I don't know. We'll kind of have to see how this goes. I kind of like this whole update. This is definitely something different for this series. Um, we will kind of see what happens with this. I think we're just going to explore this a little bit more. I also increased the lifespan of all the Sims to long just because I've been playing with other families and I don't want too much to happen with the other families. Um, I will also give you guys an update on some of the other noble families around here. So, um, yep, we became a little bit more than friends with Duchess Stella. Uh-oh, who is calling? Okay, she can go to work. That's fine. She is still so mad. Aggravating, yeah no win scenario from both sides losing an argument uh oh okay so king Derek is very happy it is daylight now so he's definitely gotta go he for sure has got to go home um so actually you know what why don't we go ahead to the main screen i'm going to show you all the noble families and just a little bit updates about them so i will start with some updates about the noble families of willow creek um, so we do have the Duke of Willow Creek. It doesn't look like there's too much going on in here, but so far in this house, we're just going to go through every house and I'm going to give you a little summary of them because things have definitely changed. I don't actually know if I've done this with every single family before. I just kind of passed through it during some of the episodes. So in this, we have Duchess Adeline. So she's the Duchess of, um, Willow Creek. We have Duke Bentley and Duchess Olivia. So she, I, I named them Duke and Duchess already just because there's no Duke right now. I've got to keep her name as the Duchess because when she dies, I want that name to be on her grave. So we have Duchess Adeline, um, Duke Bentley, and Lady Olivia. She's actually from Oasis Springs. And then their son is Sir Harrison. So he's an only child. Um, I don't think they're going to be having another child anytime soon. Actually, she might be pregnant. I don't remember. Actually, I think she is. I think she's pregnant. So they will have another child on the way. This is the Earl of Willow Creek. We, um, I don't know if we saw, yeah, no, so we haven't seen them yet. So Sir Javin, who we've met, he is part of the uh, teenage club that we see in the royal family of Windenburg. So he's kind of been friends with the princesses and prince of Windenburg for a while. This is Lady Olivia. She just turned to a teenager. She's really cute. She's really pretty. So she is also just, I don't know, she needs to find a suitor at some point too. Um, he also needs to find, well, no, I think Sir Javin is the one that is going to be with Princess Cora. Um, 
is it? No, it's not. Just kidding. I lied. Never mind. Okay. Sorry. It is so hard to keep track of them, and some of them look the same, too, so that's why it's a little difficult. But this is Countess Julia, um, and then we have Earl Deacon. So he's an elder. He might be passing on at some point. Um, so I don't know. We'll see any updates with that family. So this right here, we saw the last episode um, because Lady Lindsay is going to be next in line um, to be the queen of Oasis Springs because the Oasis Springs family decided that she would be a good fit for Prince Jared. So it looks like um, you guys didn't see this last episode, but Lady Rachel and Sir Aiden got married, um, and they just had a child, so I haven't seen the baby yet, but I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but we'll see in future episodes. Um, we also have the Marquis Cassie and the Marquis Edison, so, I mean, we saw them last episode too. But yeah, you guys didn't see this, Lady, but yeah, you guys didn't see this, Lady Rachel and Sir Aiden together. So they have a baby, that's an update with them. Um, this right here is the Baron of Willow Creek, uh, the Baroness Mira. She is King George's sister um, from Windenburg. So she is the Prince and Princess's aunt. Um, and then we have Sir Caleb and Lady Shayna. Um, so Lady Shayna and Sir Caleb actually just got married and they have a baby on the way. And then this right here is Sir Peter. He is a teenager. And then we have Oasis Springs. So in Oasis Springs, we have the Earl of Oasis Springs. He does not get along with King Derek at all. I don't know what happened, but they do not get along. Um, I almost thought that Countess and King Derek would end up being an item just because uh, Earl doesn't, Earl Frederick doesn't like him at all, but no. Um, anyway, so yeah, King uh, Earl Frederick, uh, Countess Carla, um, they have a baby, Lady Harmony. This is their toddler. She looks exactly like her mother. She looks nothing like her dad. Um, and they just had a baby as well. Um, and then we have the Duke, <laughs> the Duke of Oasis Springs. Yeah, you guys are very familiar with them. Um, okay, I don't know why some of them are dressed like this because I went in to edit their clothing and that's like none of their clothing. So I don't know if this is like their work outfit and I have no idea how to change that. But like when you see their icons, I don't know why they, like, because that's what she actually looks like. So I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, so this is the Marquis of Oasis Springs. His wife recently passed away, but this is his son, Sir Lucian, so he's next in line. And then his wife, Lady Clara. So their daughter is Lady Jill. And she's super cute, too. Um, and then the last normal family, we have um, the Baron Oasis Springs. So we have uh, the Baron Hassan and Baroness Jane. Um, and she is actually King Derek's sister. Um, and then we have their son, Sir Walter, and he is married to Lady Emma. And they just had a baby as well. So we have a lot of babies that have just happened. It's like the baby boomer phrase. I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, suddenly there's all these babies. Um, so we have those. And then as you know, the Oasis Springs royal family who we focused on the last episode. So nothing has changed with them. They're just, yeah, I've kept them the same. So next we have uh, the royal family of Windenburg. We have so many worlds now. It'd be really cool to make another royal family. Um, but there's just so much going on with these royal families. I don't know if I would be able to keep up with that. So let's start with the Duke of Windenburg. So I don't think much has changed since the last one. I think they do have a baby on the way. But yeah, so we have Duke Irving, um, Lady Darcy, and Sir Davian. So I think he, oh yeah, so this is uh, the Duke's daughter, um, and then she married him, and then we have Sir Minx, which I thought was an interesting name, but the game picked that, and I stuck with it. Um, he's a fussy child. I always thought that was the mean, I think that's also the mean icon. I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't grow up to be mean. Um, so we have the Baron of Windenburg, and we have Baroness Reyna, um, so her husband recently passed away. Um, we have Duke Philip. Wait. Hold on. Wait. I don't know why they're named there. Uh, oh, okay. I messed this up. So he, he, this is actually the Baron of Windenburg. He should be named. Um, so I, I messed that up. Um, but I will change that. So that's the Baron of uh, Windenburg. And then we have the Baroness of Windenburg, uh, Baroness Abbey. And then their son, Sir Scott. I don't think they have a baby on the way. They might be the only one. 
Um, and then we have the Earl of Windenburg. So it's just Earl Keth and Countess Myra. Um, so she's actually the sister of King George as well. So um, they have their son, Sir Derek. And then, ooh, yeah, okay. And that's it. Oh, no. Nope, sorry, last family. Okay, so the Marquis, uh, Marquis Ross, and we have the Marquis Eliza, um, and then we have, oh wait, I'm sorry. Okay, I messed this up. So Countess Myra is not Lady, um, is not King George's sister. It is actually uh, Marquis Eliza is King George's sister. It is so confusing, and I apologize. Um, there's just so many, and they actually, in my defense, they do look very similar. So yeah, so we have Marquis Ross, uh, Marquis Eliza, and then their two sons, Sir Franklin and Sir Matthew, which are the prince and princess's um, cousins. So that is what we're going to cover for this episode. I know it was just a very small update about the royal family of Willow Creek, and then we focused on all the other uh, royal family. What is she wearing? Why is she wearing this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I hate that the icons are like that. I wish I could change it, but I mean, that's not what she's actually wearing. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but in the next episode, so it is almost Princess Anna's birthday. We're going to focus back in on the royal family of Wittenberg. Um, it's almost Princess Anna's birthday. She is definitely a wild child for sure. Um, she's going to give the king and queen just a little bit of trouble. She wants to be an actress. She wants to be the spotlight of fame, but for the royal family, they actually want to stay out of the limelight. Um, that is not something they want to be in. So Princess Anna might be, um, the death of them. So we're kind of going to venture into that and see how that goes. But thank you all again so much for watching. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, if you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and we will see you all the next episode.